holidays, Merry Christmas. This is our second Candy Cane Friday. That's right. And today is all about home decor. Yes, it is. Yay. Wait till you see Joe's awesome project. Okay. So here is my Christmas countdown calendar. You could kind of put it in one of those book stands, you oh, know. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Or you can hang it on the wall. <gasps> And yeah. it's a pizza pan, and I use the Cosmo Cricut chipboard. This line is adorable. It's I very love cute. That Cosmo Cricut line. And then I added some of that Flower Soft um, for fake snow at the bottom. That's so fabulous. And these are magnetic, and it comes with 13 different numbers. And then you can always store the extras on the back. Oh, good idea. So um, this is a project sheet on the girlfriend site. Yep. And I was just going to show you real quickly how to make the little chipboard numbers. What I did was I took some patterned paper and put it on some chipboard. And this is like the chipboard you get when you buy a big slab of paper mm -hmm. or a lot of the scrapbook products. It looks like it's almost the same weight as a cereal box, too. Yeah, yeah, it's real thin. So um, I just made two inch squares. And then I used Quick Cuts, or you could use your Cricut or anything like that. Or even self-adhesive stickers. Yeah, you could use stickers, rub-ons. And what I did was 0 through 9 plus an extra 1, 2, and 3. So that oh, way okay, you can yeah. get like um, 23, 22, 11. Yeah. Most people don't start counting down till, um, till after Thanksgiving. And then I got some of these little craft magnets. And then they have like a, a sticky side and a not sticky side. Cool. Like these, this is the mm -hmm. side. And then I just glued these to the back. Oops. And then, so there's Come my on. little numbers. Cute. Ooh, so ooh. then the kids can always change them every day. That's fun. Johnny, you are brilliant. Just brilliant. Thank you. Okay, this is my project. And um, what I like about this is I didn't have to buy anything. I just used stuff that I had on hand. I just cut cardboard into three inch squares. I'm using um, memory glass and my scallops and then I have so much um, UT and embossing stuff. So I am going to show you how to um, do the edging to make it look like this frame, kind of a, a faux soldering technique with um, UT. And I'm also going to show you how to do the little snow effect with the thick UT. Really mm -hmm. simple. Um, the uti in the melting pot is still heating, so first I'm going to show you how to do the snow, and it's so super duper simple. I just took the um, snow cap dabber, and I'm going to just pounce the edge, and this is actually going to match this, but this will be an ornament for the tree. I want to buy some of those dabbers. They're really handy. I would really you know, appreciate if a friend gave it to me for <laughs> Christmas. There you go. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> um, now I'm going to use this paint as the um, the adhesive for the booty. Oh, it will hold it on. Cool. And I'm going to just stick it in here so it doesn't go everywhere. And you don't need much of this stuff. A little goes a long way. So I'm just kind of... Oh, so that's your texture. Yeah, this is what gives you that snow. Well, I'm going to heat it too and it's going to melt. Can you show me the jar? Sure. It's ultra see. thick embossing Bossing enamel, ooty, ooty, and white. And if you're going to use this in your melting pot, you seriously only need a sprinkle or two of it. And then this is from Ranger Two. It's the holographic embossing powder, That's and I'm just sprinkling a little bit of that as well. And you notice I'm not being very careful. Okay, now it's going to get loud. Okay. <laughs> You could do it that on all sorts of Christmas things. I know. It's, mm -hmm. And then it makes it look all wintry. It looks like snow. I love it. So super duper simple. Take your slide. You will press it down into the stuff and then scooch it forward. And do that a couple times. Then turn it and do that again. Is that like glue stick hot? You know, how? Yes, mm -hmm. it is incredibly hot. Okay, so. Like napalm. So be I'm very, very careful. Very, very careful. And that is it. And then you get the nice. cute little bumpies nice. and stuff, and it's super fast. And, and it, it looks, looks amazing. Just like soldering. And you're making a little ornament with that. Yes, this is going to be an ornament, and it will match the little 
thingamajabber. And that will be a present for somebody. Oh, love it. Nice. Okay, um, about two years ago, I had shown how to uh, create these little paper roll frames on my blog. They were just instructions, but let me just show you how to do it, because it's easier to show it to you than just to, to have it written out. Let me move my candy cane over. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to take um, pattern paper, and they're actually two inches tall, okay? And you're going to roll it up around your pencil. Now, I recommend using a thinner pattern paper than this, but... Um, if you use like this pattern cardstock, which I love for almost everything else, go ahead and just give it a little bit of a spray down with a little bit of water to make it easier to roll around your pencil, okay? That's just a tip if your paper is too thick. Once you've got it rolled around, go ahead and put some tape right along the seam, like that, okay? On here, here we go, okay? And you're just going to put them, you know, just like that, right on, onto that um, chipboard frame or wooden frame. I also have to put it not only on the on the bottom but also on the side so you're not just gluing them to the board but you're also gluing them to each other because it, it just makes the whole project much more you know sturdier. Solid. Yeah it's really solid and you just keep doing that. I'm just going to put my glue here. Uh, pretend that I put glue between the two okay. We'll just, just wanted to get this together to show it to you and you just do that. So that's your first set okay. And when you do these, okay, let it dry, okay, make sure they line up. Um, once that's dried, then you can go ahead and come in with your next set, glue it right here, and you're just going to keep doing it till you go all the way around, okay? And that's it. Very Super nice. Cute. Okay, so that's it for us this week. Mm -hmm. But Samantha dropped by, and she has a home decor project to show us also. So and here it is. Samantha! <laughs> Hi, I'm going to show you how to make some really easy crepe rosettes using party streamers from your party supply store. And then I'm going to show you what you can do with them. So to make a crepe rosette, I start with about 10 inches of party streamer and I'm going to fold it accordion style in my hands. Okay. Okay. I like to use um, quilting thread to tie things off. It's really strong and um, not very bulky. So after you've tied the thread around your crepe, you want to go ahead and fluff it out. And you'll see you have your little medallion now. Yay. And then what I do is I just use a little bit of roll-on adhesive and be gentle because the crepe can tear. And you have your little medallion. Cute. Okay, glue it right to the center of my banner. And then I'm going to take the music note piece glue that on. And ahead of time I used some Meyer Road chipboard and I went ahead and glittered it with red glitter. There and let that dry. You'll also notice that I used my crocodile and I made large holes at the top and a small hole at the bottom. Okay. And with a small hole at the bottom I'm going to take a little jingle bell and some baker's twine and when I pull it through I'm going to leave the bell hanging just a little bit. I'm not going to pull it all the way through. Okay. Then I'm going to split up the ends. Bring them around to the front and tie it in a bow. So what we're going to do with this Y is we're going to add it to the rest of the banner that I've already completed. What I love about this stamp set is, you know, I showed it today with Christmas theme, but how cute would this be in a baby's room with a baby yes. on it, or mm -hmm. sweet baby, um, a little girl's room. I love it. A little welcome sign, a happy birthday sign you can make your own. Just, it's a great set for that. I made another ornament with just the, not the scalloped, but the Rick Rack stamp that the set comes with. Mm -hmm. And I glued in some peppermint sticks. And I did the bow and the bell the same way. And then I used a little florist wire, or might be jewelry wire. Okay, so we have a prize again this week. Mm -hmm. Just leave us a comment, and it's an options kit from Pinecone Press. 
It oh. is darling. He's using the fancy pants. This one has the fancy pants. Love very cute. Very, very elegant Christmas color. Yes. Love yeah. it. Love it. Leave a comment. Okay. And we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Hey everyone! Wait, 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 I'm drooling. <laughs> I took the candy cane out of my mouth. It's like all drooling. Okay, spit bridge. <laughs> no. Spit bridge. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> okay. I can't really look that one at you go. Woo! I'm like, oh, what was that? Okay, <laughs> okay. this is joking. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Stop! <laughs>